Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new episode on the channel. In today's episode about edit tracks, I will show you two very cool features that are very necessary for a great design and very great website structure. I'm talking about site masters and design libraries and now site masters are very similar to maybe symbols that you know from sketch or components and then we have design libraries which are very similar to style guides. So let me show you what site masters are. If we explore our layer list in the iPhone 12 website example that I created, uh, we can see that we have a couple of sections right here and a couple of those sections are actually highlighted with such a green icon. We have the header right there. We have such a sec uh, section at the top and we also have the, the footer section also highlighted with this green icon. And this green icon represents such a side master. Now you can see it also right here in our canvas. We have the header and our section right here and they have such a highlighted uh, color, the green color, while other sections just have this blue color and we can check them out in our site masters panel as well. Here you can see all of our site masters and this little green tick also shows us that these masters are available placed on our website already. Like on this page right here, all of these site masters are enabled, but if I choose a different one, like for example this right here uh, and I refresh the site masters panel, you will see that only the header and the footer are enabled and this section right here isn't available yet. But now I can just click on show on page and it will automatically be placed in here as well and you will see the little tick right there. But let's go back to our main page and I will show you very cool things that you can do with side masters. Okay, so we have our side masters right here. If I click on edit right there, it will automatically bring me, take me to the side master and in here I can change a few things. So for example, I could change the color of this button that we have in here. So if I click on the design part, I can now switch the color that is represented in here, for example, to such a pink. And if I now close up these windows and we check out the side master on a different page like our watch, you will see that it also changed the color for this page as well. And that's the thing about side masters. You change one part of it or the whole uh, section on one page and it will automatically switch the design, switch the style and change it on, other, on all these other pages as well. So I can now also go into the button that we have right here on a different page, change the color back to the blue that we had like that close these windows and next up is we can just simply go to our Mac page and the blue color is back again. So side masters are very cool. They behave, as I said, like symbols, components or whatever. You change one thing at a certain page and it will automatically change on all these other pages as well. But how do you actually get one of your sections to be a side master? I will show it to you with this section that we have right here. You simply have to select your section, click these three little dots and go all the way down to set as master and click on section. Now it will update automatically. You can open your side master window and it will also load up our new section that we got right here. Just to show it to you once more, if we go to a different page and if we reload our side masters panel, we can then click on show page, show on page, and it will place it within our page. So this is very awesome. I enjoy working with these side masters because I can now create a very cool layout on a certain page and it will automatically adopt on all these other pages too. But there's another thing I would like to show you in today's video, and this is design libraries. We have our theme manager right here and you will see that we have a variety of typography in here and also colors. Like for example, we have this very bright blue, which represents this value. And if I want, I can also edit that in here. So I can click the pencil and change the color to something else. And all of the elements that actually use this color will then change to a different color too. Like let's take some kind of mint blue right here click apply and you see that this single value has changed. Now let's 
click on design libraries because that's what we want to, to check out here. Um, we have a couple of uh, design libraries already created. We have the Apple design library, Apple copy and new library. So these are all different libraries that I created and tested and so on. But what you can do also as well is to click save colors to library or manage design libraries. If you click on manage design libraries, you get an overview of all your design libraries with the ability to open a new design library, to uh, duplicate a certain library or to delete it. And we can also create a new one right here. So let's go back and let's change the color value again to our mint blue like that. I'm not 100% sure why this didn't change, but we can easily change it from our color panel to this value. And now we got a changed kind of color theme right here. Let's create a new design library from those colors that we just created. And from here we can choose what we want to include in the new design library. We can choose typography on or off and also color themes on or off. I want to include both and I will create it right now. We can read name it right here. I'm just going to call it mint blue and we can check out all of the assets that we have in here. So now we have another one in our list, the mint blue. And from here we can now also change, of course, our libraries. I could go for the normal standard version. I could go for this test that, that looks pretty ugly. <laughs> and also for this one where I just tested out a few colors and so on. So it's very easy to use those design libraries with typography and also colors to uh, use or create an overall style for your website that you, as I said, change similar to site masters on a single place and it will automatically change for all of your sites and all of those elements which are using a certain color or a certain typography element. If you want to change a whole set of colors, you don't have to go all the way and change every single one of them. You can also easily click on this first button right there and then make your change to for example this one and it will automatically generate such a palette of colors for you so that makes it easy to set a certain like standard color and also generate automatically as i said those uh, other kind of similar color styles that are necessary for your design. And if we scroll at the top we see that our little button there also changed and not just on this page it also changed on our different other pages as well. We see that it changed across our whole website and that's the reason why it's important to use site masters and the design libraries. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. If you liked it, hit the thumb up button on this video or subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the comment section of this video and we will see us in the next episode. Bye.